Hello there Spear Matchers and welcome back for more How to Mod Luxor with Conus Bot. Today we're going to go into musics and sounds. Alright, this is pretty important, so listen up. Now the thing is, if you made a mod with the default Luxor music, people won't generally like it. Because the thing is that they'll be listening to the default Luxor theme for like 13 stages, that's hours upon hours upon hours. So what I instead highly recommend is that if you want a mod, you have to have your own soundtrack. Now what sounds do I ask? First of all, the most important rule about adding in sounds is do not add in anything that could potentially end up being copyrighted. That means no going onto YouTube searching up Justin Bieber's song and plunking it in as a flag bar. <laughs> no one would try it. Because the thing is, most of these bots will be uploaded to YouTube, so if they ended up with any content ID claimed, well, sucks to be you, I guess. Anyway, so now that all of that is said and done, let's explain how do you add songs into Luxor. So first and foremost, you want to have a perfect loop. Basically what this means is that you want to have a song that can loop perfectly, basically something like this. See? No difference between that. Yes, the song I'm gonna add in today is Gume Race. Suck it, people. Kirby has awesome music. So, now that all of that is said and done, we're gonna export our song out. So, normally when I com not compose music, when I loop music, I have them as lossless. But the thing is, when you want to put them inside Luxor, the thing is that lossless music takes up so much space, it's ridiculous. So, more often than not, what people do is that I use Audacity, by the way. We save it as a OGG Vobris file. I would save it as a quality 10. That is possibly the best sound I can give. It's about 500 kilobits per second. Pretty dang good. So I will save it as an OGG file inside the data music folder. So once we export everything out and everything's fine, you want to make sure that the, the thing has decent equalization, blah blah blah. Uh, maybe I should increase it a bit. Yeah, there we go, let's re-export it. I, I actually did a reverb effect on it, so it actually unintentionally, like, toned down the volume a teeny bit. There we go, alright. So now I'm also gonna copy over one more music, because, uh, why not? This music's from Return of the Luxor Scepter. Yeah, you get a sneak peek, trolls. Anyway, so once we put all of that music in, let me explain. We, we, oh, we shall now open up the SL3 file with Notepad++. Notepad++ can open this file, so... Now we have three things here. Level music, menu music, and danger music. So what we want to do is, we keep all the stream and the whatever thing, except we will change the file name. For example, I'm going to change this to gume.ogg. We'll keep the menu music, and I'm going to change this to my Spear Ritual custom song composed by uh, Jason RPG. And then we're going to save it. And then, what this does is that basically when I open up Dark Souls Moon Rising, it should play the new songs as soon as I load the level. Which will be a uh, Pillar of Osiris again, but uh, whatever. I, I think you guys can barely see you hear this like multiple times. The meme has started, people. Also, the, the music ends up being pretty soft, so I actually probably need to like equalize it later on. So yeah, that's a little fun thing. Does, does it sound much better once I actually put in custom music? Of course it does. So I highly recommend you to find a good piece of custom music and loop it properly. Wow, what happened there? I probably should not have set the speed that fast. Okay, but now that all of that is done, I'm going to show off one more cool thing you can do with the... Uh, with the sound effects. So let's actually go down now, and now I'm gonna put this as level music 1. And then, I'm going to stream the original music. The original music file from data music of the original level. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull a random card. So, what this does is that you can randomly play music. This is as far as we can go when it comes to like, doing random stuff. So, we've now defined two level musics, the original one and Gume Race. And so now, for music level, instead of repeat, we're gonna put it on random. So this will randomize all tracks. So since we have two tracks, I'm actually gonna put down these two tracks here. So as you can see, I've defined 
two music tracks and they will now be randomly played. So when I open up Luxor Moon Rising again, what happens when I open Pillar of Oz Iris is that it will randomly pick either the regular Luxor theme or Gourmet Race to play. And the thing is that when it goes to the danger zone and it zooms back out, it will actually also do randomly switch between the two. Like you see, it's actually now playing the regular theme, not the race at all. So this is a little fun stuff to do. No one really does the... Not many people do the, uh... Uh... Switch more than one tune thing now because uh, of a glitch in a moon rising which actually causes a... Uh, I hate that glitch so much. You, you score a slow and accelerate. Which causes the, um... How would I say this? Which causes... Which causes weird looping issues with the music when you score a foul. Luxor wanted to have this problem. Anyway, now we go to data sounds. Once again, the same thing. You can mess with any of these sounds once again with the sound of SL3 file, but we're not gonna do it. The long story short is you now know how to add in custom music into Luxor. I highly recommend exporting them out as a uh, OGG Vobris files because MP3 is a lousy, lossy encoding format. And I mean, you could add in wave. I believe Luxor can add in wave and it's lossless, but the thing is, there's not much difference between uh, the highest quality of OGG and it saves so much space. And when you download mods, you want to save as much space as possible. So yeah, that's it for today's How to Mod Luxor. Next time, we're gonna carry on with even more technical stuff. Am I boring you yet?